Hi, this is Hui Xu from Inara Music. In this video, I will discuss the dominant 7th arpeggio of G flat major. In music, dominant refers to the 5th note of the scale. In G flat major, the dominant note is D flat. So, a dominant 7th chord of G flat major is a chord built on D flat. A dominant 7th arpeggio is a 4-note broken chord composed of a root, major 3rd, perfect 5th, and minor 7th. It can be also viewed as consisting of intervals of major 3rd, minor 3rd, and minor 3rd. The left hand fingerings for the dominant 7th arpeggio of G flat major are 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2. We arrive on D flat with 2nd finger. For right hand fingering, every time when we arrive on D flat, we use 4th finger. Fourth finger. There is another option of fingering for right hand. Finger two can be used to play the D flat note at the beginning and ending of the arpeggio. You may see on the screen that I marked the notes with optional fingerings with blue. When we play arpeggios, we should avoid having a break, a lack of sound when passing the thumb under. This is a common problem. To be able to play a good legato arpeggio, you should angle your hand in the direction you're going. If you are playing an ascending passage, you should angle your hand a little bit to the right. That way, the thumb is closer to the next note, and you will have a smooth wrist motion across the keyboard. If you are not familiar with the dominant 7th arpeggio, I suggest you practice hand separately at a slow tempo with correct fingering. When you begin to practice hands together, practice in small fragments, every one or two octaves, to validate correct notes with correct fingerings. Then do the same thing for descending pattern. After practicing the dominant 7th arpeggio in parallel motion, do contra motion as well. Practicing every arpeggio with counter motion will help you develop some basic hand independence and coordination. Now let me demonstrate the dominant 7th arpeggio of G flat major in counter motion at the medium tempo.
hope this video is helpful for you to practice the dominant seventh arpeggio of G flat major. If you have any questions, you may leave comments for me. Please share with your friends if you like the video. I will see you next time.